So, I have new makeup to play with. I have new foundation, I have new bronzer, I have new blush, mascara, have some new lip products. So make yourself something to drink and let's have fun. So the first thing I wanted to show you is the Naked Sundays Collagen Glow SPF 50 and Primer. So this is 100% mineral sunscreen. It's infused with vegan collagen and watermelon extract. It looks tinted but once you have applied it, it goes transparent. I've tried it once and I do like it. Now this looks a bit like a clay mask. It's very thick and looks sort of beigey grey and it's very very thick but it spreads really nicely and melts into your skin and almost gives you a bit of a I don't know smoother look on your face I will go very red now it's very creamy it's not difficult to spread I think I wouldn't do it with um, brush just do it with your hands it feels so lovely on your face and then I'm going to put some on my neck especially this sun damage that I have here it gives you slightly it gives you a bit of glow but it's just such a lovely SPF it feels so so nice so the new foundation that I have is the Shiseido Revital Essence Skin Glow Foundation I had the original Synchro Skin from Shiseido years ago and it was my holy grail I loved that foundation but then they came out with the self refreshing and some other one I never bought them I never forgave them for discontinuing the original synchro skin but I thought well maybe it's time to try another Shiseido foundation this is not brand new I think this came out about five months ago and mine is in number 320 I didn't know what color to choose because the original Synchro Skin had totally different numbers. I think I was number four or something like that. So I wasn't sure. This is quite light. I usually am in around 300, but this is light. So take that into consideration. So this foundation is SPF 30, which I don't take any notice. In the SPF in foundations because you have to apply quite a lot of SPF and you don't always want to apply that much foundation. Um, it is skincare active foundation so it's got a lot of skincare in it. It feels very much like serum. It is buildable medium coverage. I would say it's light to medium. You can build it up to medium. It has very glowy finish, healthy glowy finish finish supposed to give you 24 hour hydration it comes in 30 shades it's supposed to be transfer crease and fade resistant contains through two prebiotics and niacinamide so I've worn this foundation a few times so we are going to shake it really well I will show you the color on my hand can you see how runny it is Let's not waste it. I'm going to use a Rifa B02 brush. To be honest, this color is perfect for me when I am that pale. But I don't like being that pale. I have to start fake tanning. This is serum like so I feel really comfortable with putting it under my eye I never ever put foundation under my eyes because of the crepey skin and 
when I put foundation and then concealer under my eye, it just looks like a car crash. I will do one side first. So you can see the difference. It looks beautiful. It feels like putting skincare on your... I'm just squeezing tiny bits. I used whole pump on here and then I'm squeezing like tiny bits just to add it. The only thing is, uh, you know, my nose repels foundation anyway. So with this thin foundation, I can never get uh, good coverage with this foundation on my nose, but I fix that with a concealer. So here you are. This is the first layer. So it is medium coverage. You can still see through bits, but it evens out the skin. Can you see how glowy it is? Okay, let's do the other side. This was one pump again. Those pumps are quite big and because it's such a thin foundation, it spreads, goes a long way. So I think if you have dry skin, you are going to love this. I couldn't really go with it not set. To me this is too glowy. So I have normal skin with slightly oily T-zone. So throughout the day my T-zone always gets oily. So this was one layer. Let me zoom you in. It looks beautiful. It looks very, very natural. Now, I can build it up a bit. I will do this for you. I can do this now with a sponge because the sponge now, the foundation has something to stick to. So this wasn't even a whole pump. So that looks really pretty. Now, let me show you. I The other day I put it on in the morning um, and I filmed myself in a car, I was going to the gym. I filmed myself before the gym and after the gym. Um, you have to remember it's quite cold, so I wasn't sweating that much in the gym. And also my face hardly ever sweats unless it's really hot summer and I might, might get a couple of um, sweat tears running down my forehead. But my face never really sweats. I don't really rub my face, touch my face. I sometimes my blow my nose uh, but that's how I looked after the gym so this is the foundation just before I go into the gym I'm sitting in the car hopefully you can see it well let me zoom in I would say that it feels slightly tacky and I didn't use any concealer today. I used it as a concealer as well because it's so moisturizing. Um, and the only skincare I used today was a vitamin C serum and then just my SPF. I didn't want to use any moisturizer because I felt this foundation is quite moisturizing anyway. Okay, so let's see what I look like after the gym. Okay, so I've just finished at the gym. I didn't do much cardio today, so I didn't sweat much, but I did a lot of weight, and that makes me sweat a bit. But I have told you before, I never really sweat much that my face is dripping. And I think the foundation held up really well. I can't see it. I hope you can see me good here. Mm, it hasn't separated anywhere. I even dabbed my nose a bit because my nose is normally running. And uh, I don't think even much came out my nose. 
came out, came off my nose. So yeah, I'm pretty surprised because I thought with this being so dewy and, and moisturizing that it would sort of separate, but no, it looks good. I don't have any new concealer, so I'm going to use the High Glam from Natasha Denona. I love this concealer. I have two colors. This one is the YN6. I need to use lighter one because this foundation is quite light. And just tiny bit here in a corner because, and on my nose, because like I said, I already have the foundation under my eyes, so I don't really need that much concealing just brightening here in a inner corner and cover my nose so that took a bit of shine off but if I didn't set this now it will be greasy mess this foundation doesn't dry down so it's very very tacky so you really have to set it i have the little uh, pr prism lib from givenchy in number three the rosé one the rose one to set under my eyes i know people love this powder i have been using it for the past few days and i must say just under my eyes. I like the pink powder, you know, I love the one from Morphe, the pink one, brightening one. I can't see anything special about this one. It's a nice powder. <laughs> the most special thing about it is that it is ridiculously expensive. I've got just a little size because I wanted to try it I thought I don't want to buy a huge one just in case I don't like it it blares the pores really nicely okay so my camera <clears throat> just turned off and I didn't notice for a while that's why I've got just one brow on so I need to go over what I did after this powder so normally I was setting this foundation with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder and that's what I did on my gym day. But I wanted to try today to do one side with this and one side with the Lily Lolo Mineral Powder Foundation in Warm Honey and see, because I will come back later to see how it wore, which one looked better. So I've set this side with Wet n Wild and this side with Lily Lolo. And what I was telling you, while no one was listening because the camera turned off, was how you lose the shine really with a setting powder. But when you do it with a mineral powder foundation, they usually have a bit of glow in them. As you can see, this one is a bit more glowy and also it probably adds a bit of coverage because it is a powder foundation i use very little of it just as the same amount that i would use with the setting powder so that's what i used to set my face and then i was telling you about this new pencil brow pencil from benefit which is called precisely my brow detailer this is amazing this has the tiniest tiniest nib you've ever seen and this is almost like those marker pens it is not it is a pencil but it's the same idea that you can just draw little strokes and it's amazing at it because for example with a normal still fine pencil this one is from NYX and this is the micro brow pencil this is quite thin but not as thin as the benefit and if you just need to fill in your brows this is amazing you don't put any pressure on it because if you do you will break it but you don't have to it just 
honestly the posits color straight away this is amazing I only use it for the front of my brows to draw strokes and anywhere else where I have to fill but the rest I do with this pencil I still have to do that it's just that my brows are really thick they are just very thin because they are over plugged but what I have there is thick so I don't need to fill in there anything I have to draw this wider template with this pencil first I suppose I could do it with this but I don't want to waste it and then I just fill in the strokes with this mine is in 3.5 absolutely amazing okay we can carry on now so sorry uh, but what I think I will do because I was trying to do my brows holding this mirror and I can't do it I have to rest my elbow and do it that way it's just amazing this pencil Now, I also have a new setting gel. So, you know, my Holy Grail is the Benefit 24-hour setting gel. Anastasia just came out with Brow Freeze Gel. And I have told you in one of my Monday vlogs that I wasn't too keen. But I will use it on one brow and I will use this one on the other. I love the brush on it. I bought just the small size. You can buy the small ones. I prefer them. I always buy small size from Benefit. I don't know. I feel like I get more product. So this one from Anastasia, the brush is lovely. I actually prefer this brush to this one. They are slightly similar. But the actual gel, it's, I don't know, it's more greasy. And I don't feel it sets my brows like this one. This one is almost like a hairspray. Uh, so my brows don't move. But this one, yeah, they will stay like this. But if you move them later on, they will move. Okay, let me go off and do this brow. Yes, yeah, so the Benefit gel is more watery. Whereas this, it's a bit thicker, gloopier and feels more greasy so what I do now I wait for this gel to dry and then I will fill in again with this tiny pencil where I need to bronzer so I've got this just came out this YSL beautiful beautiful bronzer it is expensive and I have lots of bronzers but I couldn't resist the packaging and also I thought if I'm going to spend the money I need to get a color that I don't have so I have darker bronzers and sort of medium ones but when I'm wearing light foundation like this I don't really have a bronzer that is a bit lighter so I chose this one in zero to bath so this is the second lightest it has beautiful mirror hang on let's do it this way it has the YSL embossed let me swatch it that's the color so this is perfect shade so let's apply that I'm using Rifa 05 So this is why I sell all hours high bronzer, 24 hour wear, natural sunkiss glow. It is powered by skincare with 90% natural origin ingredients. It has hyaluronic acid in it and niacinamide. It has soft matte and subtle sheen formula. It's seamless, blendable and without fading. So as you can see, it is perfect for lighter foundation. I normally, my bronzer comes out a bit too dark because I mostly have a bit darker bronzers. So that's the bronzer. Yes, I love it. 
obviously it has the formula in it, the skincare ingredients, that's what you're paying for. And most of it, you're paying for the packaging. But it is just beautiful. So I'm not regretting buying it. Okay, blush. I've got RMS Beauty Pomegranate Fizz. People are raving about these blushes. It looks very, 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 very pigmented. And I like it because it has that sheen in it. So this is the pomegranate face. When you swatch it, it looks so, so pigmented. So it's like a reddish pink. I would call it more watermelon. I'm going to use another Rifa 05. And as you will see, it is very pigmented. I think it depends also which color you get. It's supposed to be hydrating and nourishing. Melts to your skin, yes it does. With silky luminous finish. I agree with all that. And it is like a powder gel and you can feel it when you put your finger in it. It's almost like it's creamy and this compact is refillable so once you've used that you can just buy the refill okay so this is a beautiful blush it's a bit too much <laughs> i think this will probably look much nicer in the summer when i have a bit of tan it won't look as red um, and it will give me lovely healthy glow. Okay, so that was all that I had for face. I will quickly do a eye look. I will use the Natasha Denona My Mini Dream Palette and then I will come back to a mascara and some lip. I've got three new lip products. Okay, let's try the new mascara now. So this actually came this morning, which is good because I didn't have any mascara. This is mascara from Swede. Swede, it's a company owned by a makeup artist and they started off with false lashes. And I had some Swede false lashes a few years back and I love them. And they've started now doing more makeup. So we will see. This is called Cloud Mascara. I love the packaging. Let's see the brush. Oh, okay. So it's one of those brushes with very, very short, tightly packed bristles. Okay. Oh, I think I like it straight away. It's not too wet. And because of those very tightly packed bristles, it really brushes through every eyelash. But what I want to see, you know, I normally use two mascaras, one of that type that will brush and define my lashes and then second one to give me volume to make my lashes thicker but we will see if I can build this one because to me this is um, like a lengthening defining mascara I wouldn't say is volumizing but we will see if I can build it up. Really good for bottom lashes. I think they might have given me discount code. So look in the description box. I will link everything that I've used. And if there is anything that I have discount for, it will be there as well. Okay, let's dip again and see if I can build them up. It 
Yes, I can. This is actually really, really nice mascara. I like it. I put lots of mascara on my lashes. Yeah, it's not really clamping them, but making them a bit thicker. Really like it. Yeah, I like it. Really nice mascara. Brilliant. Another mascara in my arsenal of mascaras. Okay, lips. So, you know Charlotte Tilbury just came out with her new Hollywood reds and Hollywood pinks. I didn't want any reds because I have lots of bright lipsticks and I wasn't going to get any pinks. But I was at the counter and I had a look and I chose two. So, I have the... Icon Baby, which is the lightest one, and I have red carpet pink. Now, Icon Baby, this one is a bit funny. When you put this one on your lips, it has a bit of grittiness to it. It has some sort of shiny particles, but not like glitter. You can feel it at first a bit. But it's not like glitter, it's just something that adds that sort of wet look. And both of these are kissing formulas. But because of whatever things, sparkly things this one has in, it doesn't feel as creamy as the kissing formula. Still really nice. Let me put it just on my bare lips on the bottom so you can see what it looks like. You see, I can feel, feel those particles, but as soon as you put it on, they are not uncomfortable or anything. So this is the Icon Baby, very neutral, natural pink. Then here is the red carpet pink. I love this one. So this is the red carpet pink. They are quite similar, but this one is definitely more pink. I love using this one with a darker lip liner. For example, next Los Angeles, I will put the darker lip liner, I will smudge it inwards a bit and then put that on and I love, love that look. So that's the lipsticks and the brand new Huda Beauty <clears throat> Faux Filter, yeah, Faux Filter, nourishing lip gloss I got it in sugar baby this comes in seven shades I have sugar baby and this is not your I love the doll foot applicator it's so cute and this is not like your ordinary gloss this has a lot of pigment so it's more like a lip cream I would say it's so shiny it's here it's glass like so let me take this off and I will just put that on its own and then I will just do my lips see when I've taken that icon baby I can see now like sparkly bits on my lips but honestly don't think it's like really gritty and uncomfortable it's not when you put in the lipstick on you can feel almost like grains of sand in it but it's not uncomfortable Right, let's do the Huda. So it is not completely opaque, depends how much you put on. But that's the sugar baby. I probably wouldn't wear it. If I wore it on its own, I would apply just a tiny bit. It's lovely. Mmm, smells gorgeous. Mmm. Um, it's not sticky. It's very creamy. Not too thick. You know, sometimes this type of lip product can be very, very thick. I probably would use it more 
to top my lipsticks off with. Okay, let me take that off and I just will ap apply the lipstick with the lip liner. Okay, so I am going to apply the NYX Los Angeles. You see, I fill my lips a bit with it. So you can basically change the tone of this lipstick depending on what lip liner you use. There. Really, really pretty. I've been really loving it. Okay, my lovelies, let's have a quick close-up close look at this foundation. You see throughout this video I am going a bit more shiny here so this glowy foundation is coming through as soon as my oils come through. Okay so have a good look. I think it looks pretty good. It doesn't look like it really settled in my you know I've got quite deep lines on my forehead. I think it looks pretty good and remember I've applied two layers of it which I probably didn't need to and this side has been set with the wet and wild translucent powder and this side was set with the mineral powder and I don't feel maybe there is a bit more texture here because I've added a bit of coverage with that but yeah it looks good so I will see you in few hours and we will see how this wore I won't touch up or anything I come back and we will have a look how this foundation wore hello welcome back so it's just after four o'clock and I applied that makeup at 10, so just over six hours. And to be honest, I never need my foundation to last me longer than this. I'm never out of the house for six hours. I don't have an office job that I have to look good all day. But let's have a look. I haven't looked at myself till now. Uh, so I did some work did some editing, had lunch, so my lipstick has worn off. I just have the lip liner on. I've taken the dog for a walk. And the first thing I can see is that I have gone very shiny. Can you see um, on my forehead, on my chin, and a bit here, the usual places that I go shiny. Now imagine if I never said that, what I would look like now. Yeah, this is um, a bit tacky. I can pick up that oil slick on my fingers, but it doesn't look bad. Let me zoom you in. Okay, so can you see how shiny I am on my forehead? chin and just here. Now let's have a look. It hasn't really broken up anywhere here and it hasn't settled in any of my lines. Maybe just slightly I have, can you see this line here? A bit worn off here, but I've been, um, I've got a bit of a runny nose, so I've been dabbing my nose. That's the only thing I've been doing. So maybe slightly around my nose. So again, this was the side that I did with Wet n Wild powder. And this is with the mineral Lily Lolo powder. But they look pretty much similar 
very good but look at the blush <laughs> blush usually fades and remember one of the claim claims was that it doesn't fade and I don't think this faded at all is as bright as it was it's far too bright actually um, next time I apply this one I will be more light-handed that might be the the color because it's a really bright color they do mu more muted colors as well um, the bronzer looks really nice as well the bronzer hasn't patched up Yes, I am impressed. So, if I needed to go somewhere, my makeup looks quite good, but I would just powder slightly those areas and I'm good to go. I am surprised for the type of the foundation that it is, that it stayed so well on, being so moisturizing and so glowy i think maybe if you've got oily skin you might want to stay away from it um i think it will be real oil slick on you but if you have normal to combination to dry skin especially if you have dry skin you are going to love it because this is definitely not going to stick to your dry patches so to be honest this was very successful haul i liked absolutely everything Okay, my lovelies, I know this video was quite uh, long, but I love these videos when I try new things and we talk through it. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.